the Silver Line. It's a big ticket project meant to move thousands around Grand Rapids faster than ever before. It has dozens of stops along Division and the Medical Mile. But are the millions of your federal, state, and local tax dollars worth it? 24 Hour News 8's Ken Colker has information on how it works and where the money's going. Ken? Yeah, I'm at one of the new stations here being built at Ransom and East Fulton Street, and it's all part of a new system that some bus riders say they're looking forward to. In the morning, it's packed, and sometimes, depends on what time you take it at night, it's, it can get pretty busy. With but her rapid bus ride down South Division to her downtown Grand Valley classes is anything but rapid. It can take almost an hour. So she cannot wait for the Silver Line to open. The nearly 10 mile route will run from 60th Street and South Division in Kentwood to downtown Grand Rapids and the Medical Mile. With 33 covered stations, each costing about half a million dollars, and 10 new hybrid buses, often traveling on dedicated lanes. It's like a light rail system without the rails or the trains. It will save time for me to get to school, and with all the fancy shelters, it's going to be nice, so I don't have to stand under rain. But it's pricey, $39 million, with 80% coming from the feds and the rest from the state. Take the $39 million price tag, divide that by the 4,000 daily rides on this route, and that comes up to $9,750 each. Enough to buy a decent used car for each. I think I would choose the bus just because um, I don't have to worry about parking, I don't have to pay for gas, and as a Grand Valley student, the bus is free for me. Supporters say this will lead to more riders and economic growth. This isn't just a nice thing to do. This is a necessary thing to do and a thing to build for our future. Each station has, ha, it has the potential of developing retail residential around it. That's been proven nationally. Is it like build it and they will come sort of thing? It is usually what happens. Now the rapid says this is expected to open in August 2014 and will cost $2.2 million a year to operate. Now we also spoke with the Kent County Taxpayer Alliance group just a little while ago who called this a waste of tax dollars and said this could actually lead to more congestion. Live in Grand Rapids, Ken Colker, 24-Hour News 8.